A rescue boat counted on by tens of thousands of beachgoers and boaters on Long Island is out of commission after a mysterious act of vandalism. Someone deliberately destroyed the boat's controls. Now many are pointing fingers. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports from Suffolk County. In the quaint village of Bellport, controversy and mystery. Someone on a rampage destroyed, of all things, the controls of this rescue boat. The I command system, which is very expensive, that controls the entire boat had been smashed. Ambulance crews arriving at the village dock Sunday found communication lines sliced, shattered engine and steering controls, infrared radar smashed, and the oil line cut. Cutting that oil line would put flammable fluids into the boat, and should there be any type of spark, it could have blew up and killed the rescuers. Volunteers with the South Country Ambulance Company, who cover 14 miles of waterways, say losing a life-saving vessel at the height of the season puts the public in danger. Nobody can really believe that somebody would actually come down and do this to our boat. Chief Greg Maglino believes the boat was targeted, and he blames Bellport Village Administration for setting a contentious tone on public safety issues. We don't believe the village itself was involved, obviously, but sometimes when you're the leader of a village and you set a tone, you have a crazy or two that read something into that and go out and take action into their own hands. The village recently replaced lifeguards who walked off the job, and a debate's brewing over a new ambulance company headquarters. But the mayor says opponents harbor no animosity. They wouldn't do that. It's not, it's not in their style to do that. They're all you know, 55 or 60 years old, and uh, I think we're beyond the van. Uh, uh, point. Whatever differences there are between village administrators and the ambulance company, residents we spoke to were united in support of the volunteers and shocked that bad blood could boil over like this. That's unimaginable and, and scary. For now, the only working vessel left in the fleet is this 20-year-old low-tech backup docked now on private property for safekeeping. In Bellport, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Bellport Village officials are reviewing surveillance video of the dock area with Suffolk Police. Estimated damage is more than $10,000.